I've already phoned Sarah's father. He's the Italian consul in Geneva. But he wasn't there today. He was away for the weekend. They said he'd be back by Monday. And they don't know anything about her there. Well, do you understand why I'm so worried? Yes, but before we both get upset, let's wait for the father's return. Maybe they got together this morning and went off on their own. I know her quite well. She was a patient of mine three years ago. Were you aware of that? No, I didn't even know you were a psychiatrist. Well, she had a nervous breakdown after her mother's death, and she came to me for treatment. After she got better again, we remained friends. But lately, she was upset about some notions put into her head by a friend of hers. Not you, I hope. No. They were kind of wild ideas. She had discovered that the TAM Academy was founded in 1895 by a certain Helena Marcos, a Greek immigrant, and that the local people believed her to be a witch. I guess you knew that. No, but I have a strange feeling that somebody already told me about it. Or something similar. I can't... can't remember. Well, that really got Sarah's imagination going. Earlier in the 19th century, the Marcus woman had been expelled from several European countries. She seemed to have something about her which, which urged religious thinking people to, to persecute her. She also wrote a number of books, and I read that, that among the initiated, she went by the name the Black Queen. After she settled down here, she became the subject of a lot of gossip. Nevertheless, she managed to put her hands on a great deal of money, and she founded the Tam Academy. At first, a sort of school of dance and occult sciences, but that didn't last long, because in 1905, after being hounded and cursed at for ten years, Madame Marcus died in a fire. That's all there is, as far as witchcraft is concerned. The school was taken over by her favorite pupil. The study of the occult was abandoned, and soon the place became the famous dance academy. But... What does it mean to be a witch? Well, as a believer in the material world and, and a psychiatrist to boot, I'm convinced that the current spread of belief in magic and the occult is part of mental illness. Bad luck isn't brought by broken mirrors, but by broken minds. Excuse me. Milius? Professor Milius can answer your question better than I can. He wrote a book called Paranoia or Magic, and believe me, it's the final word in the subject. Excuse me, Milius, if you don't mind, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Fräulein? She's interested in your favorite subject. Witches. Can you tell her something about the mysterious? Well, I have to go. I have an appointment to keep. Keep me posted, hmm? Hello. I'm sorry to bother you. Ah, so, what would you like to know? Do you believe in the existence of witches? Ah, I have known some women who are said to be witches. Really? I've studied the phenomenon for a long time. I'm of the opinion that it is an important appendage of contemporary psychiatry. Uh, you're skeptical, my dear. Well, uh, frankly, it is a little hard to believe. What do witches do? They are malefic, negative and destructive. Their knowledge of the art of the occult gives them tremendous powers. They can change the course of events and people's lives, but only to do harm. You don't believe me? No. Their goal is to accumulate great personal wealth, but that can only be achieved by injury to others. They can cause suffering, sickness, and even the death of those who, for whatever reason, have offended them. Why do you have all this interest in the occult? Because some friends spoke to me about witches. I read some stuff. Have you ever heard of Helena Marcus? Oh yes, she was a very famous black queen. A powerful witch with a tremendous talent for doing evil. A real mistress of magic. She lived and died in this city. Did you know that? Yes. And might there exist a guild of witches? The correct term would be a coven of witches. 
A woman becomes queen if her magic is a hundred times more powerful than the rest of the coven, which is like a serpent. Its strength rests with its leader, that is, with its head. A coven deprived of its leader is like a headless cobra, harmless. Skepticism is the natural reaction of people nowadays, but magic is ever present. In other words, quandum ubique, quandum semper, quandum ad omnibus, creditor est, which means that magic is everywhere and all over the world. It's a recognized fact, always.